Good morning, Facebookers, and I hope you're well on this Truthful Tuesday. You know what? I get more response from myself being truthful on a Tuesday than any other day. And I wonder if that's because I'm actually being truthful and I'm talking the truth and I'm talking to you, the viewers, my audience, my beautiful people, whatever it is, you love Truthful Tuesdays. Whether it's hard hitting, whether it's deep, whether I cut your heart and cut your throat because it's so honest and it's my opinion, whatever it is, you love Truthful Tuesdays. So today it's all about wasted energy. And on Sunday in my Zoom, uh, mastermind group we spoke about the three things that i'm going to talk about to you today and it's about wasting your energy on things you do not need to now let me ask you a question how many times have you put effort into things for no reason and you've wasted your energy how many times have you put effort into things and you've wasted your energy you've wasted your time for no apparent reason and guess what we all do it and the reason we do it is because we want something back or the reason we do it is because it makes us feel better or the reason we do it is we try and gain control we try to learn how to cope with things or we concentrate on the wrong thing so today i'm giving you the three c's and i'm telling you what you need to do to stop wasting energy number one control what you can. Most of the time we put in energy into things that are out of our control. And on Sunday when we spoke, a great uh, opinion came up that sometimes even things that are out of our control, we can actually control the environment around it. So for instance, let's say you've got diagnosis with a, um, with a condition that's out of your control. You can still put steps in place to make your body healthier towards that diagnosis. So you can control the environment that event is in and that's the same when it comes to yourself stop putting energy in things that are out of your control and put energy in things that you can control because once you stop wasting time on things you can't control and actually put energy in things you can control you become more time efficient but also you become a lot happier because you're not wasting time on things that are out of your control number two cope with the things that you can't. So the things that you can't control, you need to learn coping strategies, coping mechanisms. Most of the time, as a society, we haven't got any coping mechanisms. So what happens? We go from naught to 100. We react from naught to an overreaction. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to cope. Because as a society, we've not given those tools. You need to learn coping strategies. And one of the good things about my 1% method is I teach you, I help you to learn how to deal with coping mechanisms. Because things that are out of your control, you need a coping mechanism to understand what you need to do so you don't waste energy on it. A lot of the time, we have a breakdown, we feel anxious, we get depressed, we have lots of negative emotions surrounding things that we can't cope with. When if you have coping mechanisms in place, it becomes a lot easier and you start wasting energy. And number three, concentrate. Concentrate on what actually matters in your life. Concentrate on what counts. Concentrate on things that are actually good in your life, people that help you and things that enhance you. I'll give you a great example. Yesterday, I was in a few Facebook groups and I got a lot of beating, I got a lot of pressure, I got a lot of burden, people pounding me, pounding me with a lot of negativity in this one Facebook group. And it was all evolving about how to better yourself. And I was talking about evolving as a human being, our brains are used, are made to evolve. As humans, I feel we should be evolving more and more with health, with um, mental health. We should be progressing forward. And sometimes it's hard to progress forward, but as humans, we are designed to evolve and learn and adapt and learn some more. And in one of these Facebook groups, they were arguing me about you need to be happy with who you are. And you know what? I understand some people do not like feeling uncomfortable. But I could have wasted so much energy trying to fight that battle, trying to get my opinion across, trying to give my version of why I'm right and you're wrong and all that. And you know what I did? I just went, thumbs up, 
have a great day, feel blessed and left. Because sometimes I don't need to concentrate on shit that isn't good for me, isn't good for my mental health, but also is negative. So guys, when it comes to you and wasting energy, only concentrate and put effort in things that matters and that counts. Stop wasting your energy on people that don't matter. Stop wasting your energy on trying to justify your own actions. Stop wasting your energy on people. Guys, it's very simple. Your energy is very powerful. Your energy is very important. You start investing your energy in negativity, you get negativity back. Start investing your energy into positivity, working on yourself, enhancing your lifestyle, enhancing your brain function, enhancing learning, evolving, making sure you're becoming better by small habits consistently, daily consistency, daily, you become a better whole being. So today, guys, on this Truthful Tuesday, I'm saying to you, where is your energy going? What are you wasting your energy on? And most of all, where can you invest your energy that it becomes a positive feedback? Control what you can, cope and learn strategies with what you can't, and concentrate on what matters and counts in your life to make you a better, better person. I'm Nathan Ross, your accountability coach, and I would love to work with you in helping you control, cope and concentrate. In my 1% Method program, we do things such as this. We discuss, we support and we advise and we guide. But most of all, I want to offer you solutions to your problems. If you've got a fat loss problem, a weight loss problem or a well-being problem that you can't overcome or you want to get better and evolve in your well-being and health and fitness, give me a shout guys because I'm ready to work with you and help you become better. I'll speak to you soon.